All right, so today what we're going to do is apply some size. Now with gold leafing, there's two types, water-based and there's oil-based. In relation to ormolu clocks, gold leafing clocks, because of the complexity of the, the design, the depth, all of that. So I'm going to use today um, this particular brand. It goes for 12 hours. So you basically have 12 hours for it to dry and then usually about another six hours thereafter to actually apply the gold leaf. So there's no rush and you've got plenty of time to, to put it on. This is called size that we're going to apply. The thing with size is knowing when it's dry enough to apply the gold leaf. So I usually put this on at night and then the next morning or 12 hours roughly there uh, they're on I will test the item I've applied the size to and then apply the gold leaf so plenty of time to make sure that the surface is correct so dry enough for you to be able to touch and feel it stick a little bit but leave no residue on your skin it takes a bit of practice but anyway you don't need much of this the tiniest tiniest amount so what I'll do is I'll actually put a little bit into a, a small container. I use this all the time and it is literally just a drop that we put in there. So I'll just open up the can. You can get the size at any of the online gold gilding shops. 12 hours is a bit harder to find. You'll find um, other ones that go for four hours or six hours but the 12 hours is a bit harder to find so really only the tiniest amount you need so that's more than enough probably too much actually but anyway that's what we'll use for today so we're only going to be doing a small area separate brushes always use separate brushes don't use the same brush you use for your gold leaf it's really got to be that separate brush. Something a bit shorter that can is a bit stiff that allows you to get into the grooves with applying. So again, as I said, just a very tiny, small amount. You literally just touch it. So plenty, that's heaps. You don't need anything more than that. All right, I'm just gonna do the stomach of the horse here and start working anywhere that I can see there's no gold leaf. It's hard to tell where you've put it so be systematic in where you start. You'll get a bit of a shine on it. So you can see there's some deep grooves in here that we need to get in with the brush. Smaller brush is good for this because you'll be able to get in further make sure you cover it thoroughly okay okay again just the tiniest amount on your brush you really don't need very much at all in fact i probably won't use hardly any of that i may end up having to pour it back into the bottle Hey, don't worry if you overlap a little bit with the gold. The leaves are so fine you really can't even tell that there's more than one layer on. It's better to make sure that you've, you've covered it all. I'll do a little bit of patching as well today, doing this section. The gold leaf will stick to this size wherever it's been put. So if you miss little patches it won't stick and you'll have to do what I'm going to be doing soon which is going back over some areas. You can see this deep hole underneath the saddle blanket here. So we're going to have to get in there as well with the brush. Make sure we, we cover every surface as far as we can because we basically don't want to see any of the raw base material, metal. Don't be afraid to go over it a few times. Just 
do a little bit more. So I'm going to do a little bit of patching now, just in a few spots while I'm, I've got the size out. So you can see here there's a couple of little spots that haven't really taken. So what we do is we just give them a very light little touch. Some spots underneath here that we can work on. In through the, in here. Might go up, up through the side here of this jacket. You can see there's a, a line there that hasn't had picked up any gold leaf. In through there. Now, make sure you don't leave any puddles or little pools of the varnish anywhere because that will take longer to dry and if you try to put the gold leaf on it it will actually cause the gold leaf to go dull. That's why you need to make sure what you apply is done evenly. Just do some here in the front of his leg, a bit more on his blanket. You can see here on the side of his boot he's got a bit of a line there that hasn't been taken any of the gold so just a very fine little line here back of his leg I don't think we've covered that it's best to do this one section at a time don't try and do everything at once you very quickly forget where you've put size on because it's not easy to see. So I'm basically just working in this area here and the stomach and that's all I'm going to do. So I'll know that whatever is in this particular area need, that has bare metal showing will have size on it as well. All right, so this is uh, pretty much covered the area that I'm prepared to do on my next sitting with the gold leaf which will happen probably in about 12 to 14 hours. I'll test regularly after 10 hours to see if the surface is ready and uh, I'll be back then.